Hey, good morning to all of our beautiful fire signs out there in the world. Fire signs would include Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energies. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Today is Tuesday, March the 16th. So fire signs, let's get started with your tarot reading. First energy that I'm going to pull is going to come through as overall energy for all fire signs this week. We're going to pull some clarifying energies as well. So tell us about present energy, overall energy for all fire signs, please. Okay, overall energy for fire signs comes to us as the fool's energy. New beginnings. Just looking at the image on this card, you know, she is, she looks like she's walking forward. She has her walking staff to help her walking towards a new beginning. Let me throw on my glasses and look a little closer. So, it's, I mean, it's representing the energy of the fool's energy, which is letting go of the fears, the worries, and the concerns. You're stepping into the energy of, of a beginning, but stepping into it with excitement, with, with enthusiasm. Just looking, I mean, there's a little bit of reservation on her face as she's walking forward. Uh, you know, maybe taking a chance of some sort. Let's, uh, let's pull another energy for you fire signs. This energy is going to come through connected to money, finances, and career for many of you. But fire, walking into a new beginning, that's exciting. Looking at career, money, and finances, you have the six of cups coming to you, which is connected to memories of love. Right? So it's representing the energy of going back in time, going back in time to maybe an earlier time. This could also represent the energy of somebody else from your past. Um, it's connected to money and finances. So maybe in that energy of looking back on the past, maybe looking back at a time where there was more stability, more security in your life. Let's pull another energy for you. We're going to get some clarifying energies on these as well. The fire signs. This energy is going to come through to you regarding love and relationships in your life. We have obstacles and challenges. So interesting. You know, I'm just looking here at this energy. You know, we see this feet on this plank. And it's almost like he's walking the plank. He's walking towards possibly stepping over the plank. And the reason I'm pointing out this energy is your overall energy, right? Here you are taking these steps, taking this, you know, the steps towards walking. Uh, the five of wands represents, you know, challenges, changes and such regarding love and relationships. Some of you may be looking at, you know, some type of change regarding love and relationship in your life. But let's find out more. I'm going to use my universal tarot and let's pull some clarifying energies. Clarifiers give us the details. Tell us about new beginnings for fire signs, please. Too many energies. Tell us about new beginnings for all fire signs, please. We have the hermit energy. So energy of Virgo just showed up. Some of you may be connected to a Virgo. You may be stepping into a new beginning with a Virgo. Please clarify this hermit energy, please. Fire signs. Okay. So beautiful energy is coming in for you now. Fire signs. We have the star card coming in, which is representing the energy of Aquarius. Uh, it's representing the energy of manifesting all of my hopes and dreams. So some of you may be you may be in a beginning with either a Virgo or an Aquarius energy, but it has you in the energy of going in deep, right? Isolating yourself, um, stepping away from the distractions of others, going inward um, because you're creating this beginning. You're creating this beginning for yourself. So maybe it's about going inward and determining exactly what it is. I mean, what represents the energy of all of your hopes and dreams for you? You're being encouraged to go inward and to seek that direction. 
with the star card attached to the hermit. And then attached to the star card, we have the three of cups. Cause for celebration, friendships, uniting, celebrating. So we have the energy of celebration and hopes and dreams connected to new beginnings for you, which is pretty fantastic. Tell us more about new beginnings for fire signs, please. Here we have the Six of Swords, which is representing the energy of moving away from something. So if you're fire sign, you're in the energy of moving away from something because you're moving towards a new beginning for yourself. Please clarify the Six of Swords for fire signs, please. Okay, so clarifying the Six of Swords, we have the Devil card. So we have you in the energy of, notice with the Devil card, we have two people, they're naked, right? So feel, this is representing an energy, it could be somebody in your life or something in your life. And it's something you feel very comfortable with, something you feel somewhat bound to. This is exactly what it is you're moving away from in order to move towards a new beginning. I don't know, fire, just gotta find out more. Tell us more about new beginnings for fire signs. Please clarify this devil card for fire signs. Okay, so the energy that comes in attached to the devil card is the moon energy, which represents I'm out at night, right? And I have to operate. I have to see and, and feel my way around with the light of the moon. So things, it's not like the sun is out shining things, right? Where I can see and understand things clearly. Uh, so we have the moon energy. So there's some, some confusion and there's some misunderstanding that's connected to whatever this is, this energy in your life that you're feeling somewhat bound to, that you're needing to move away from. Let's clarify this moon energy. Please clarify the moon energy for fire signs, please. Hierophant energy, so Taurus energy just came up. So what is it that you're being encouraged to do? If you're fire sign, you're aware of this energy of something that you're feeling bound to and it feels somewhat confusing, you're being encouraged to listen to your intuition, right? Follow those spiritual truths. Follow those spiritual promptings that you've been receiving. It's those promptings, which I believe, if you're fire signs, that are encouraging you to move away from this energy of whatever this is that you're bound to. Um, could be Capricorn. For those of you that are connected to Capricorn. All right, let's move down to memories of love. Uh, coming in as money and finances. Tell us about memories of love for fire signs. You know, you... So we have the Five of Swords, right? So past memories, I have memories of love when I'm looking back on the past. And maybe I'm missing those energies because the Five of Swords coming in says, look, there's, there's arguing, there's fighting going on. So maybe it's the arguing and the fighting. If I'm fire sign, I'm taking back, and I'm going back to like memories, going back to a more peaceful time. But let's clarify. Tell us more about the Five of Swords for fire signs, please. Tell us about the Five of Swords for fire signs. Okay, takes us to the Four of Cups, right? So if I'm in this energy, right, regarding finances, career, I'm in the energy of the Five of Swords, things not going very well, different ideas, arguing, uh, debating. It's a limiting energy. Inevitably, it puts you into this energy of the Four of Cups where it's just, it, this could represent the energy of depression. You know, for some of you, here's this cup coming in, right? The hand of God bringing you this cup, right? Am I gonna even notice and be aware of this cup? And this could be exactly why 
many of you are going back in time thinking about more pleasant memories, more pleasant experiences. Let's find out more fire. Tell us about memories of love for fire signs. Here's a beginning, Ace of Pentacles. So beginning that's wanting to come in for you. The, the, the key is for you fire signs is, are you going to recognize, are you going to be aware of this beginning, right? And this could be a beginning for some of you that's taking you back to an earlier time. Uh, this could be an offer from the past, right? That's coming in for you, coming back around again. Let's clarify this Ace of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Swords attached to the Ace of Pentacles. So the Knight of Swords rushing in, bringing you a truth about this beginning that's coming in for you. And I feel like it's a beginning, you know, for many of you fire signs, it's connected to something from your past. Uh, let's clarify. Tell us more about memories of love for fire. You have the world card coming in now. So the universe wanting to change your world for you, fire signs. Um, let's clarify the world card. So maybe it's the, it, you know, it's the world card that's attached to this Ace of Pentacles that the Knight of Swords is bringing in, right? And he's in a hurry. He's bringing this truth into It's almost like there's some urgency bringing in this truth, you know, urgently bringing you this beginning. That's just weird that I would say urgent. Please clarify the world card. We have the Ten of Wands attached to the world card. So Ten of Wands represents the energy of, I feel like I've been in an uphill battle, right? Um, not carrying these wands very effectively. It looks like I could stumble and fall at any time. So coming in as a 10, the universe, fire signs, is letting you know that the, the energies are available for you to bring an ending to what feels like it's been a long journey. And it takes you into the world energy. So it changes your life completely. So some of you may have something or somebody from your past coming back that's going to possibly change your world or an opportunity or career opportunity or job, something financially that's coming back that's going to change your world for you. Kind of fun. All right, fire signs. Let's move down to obstacles and challenges coming in on love and relationships. Tell us about obstacles and challenges. Could be an obstacle and challenge because this journey's taken so damn long. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles energy just came in. Uh, I am on my destined journey. It's the slowest moving of the night energies, but it's the it's the most reliable. Right? So, you know, it's it, it it could it's coming in. I mean, just the fact that you know, if you've been on this journey for a while, it's, and if you feel like if you're an, a fire sign, you're on a destined journey. You're in the right place right? with the Knight of Pentacles coming in yeah so just the fact that it's taking time for this journey to come about could be coming in as an obstacle and a challenge but let's let's clarify this knight of pentacles yeah so here we have speed and movement right that's coming in to clarify this knight of pentacles so yeah for fire you're on this journey and it's taken time destined journeys take time destiny takes time Right, and we know it's it's a challenge for you because it's attached to speed and movement, right? Change is coming in. All right, clarify obstacles and challenges for fire signs, please. Okay, so here we have King of Wands energy, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy coming in. This is somebody who's an action taker, somebody who's a go-getter. Somebody who trusts their feelings. Somebody who doesn't doesn't like to sit still. This is somebody who likes to move, likes to create, likes to manifest. Maybe it's your ability to embrace this King of Wands energy, right? To embrace that fire within you just to take some action. Let's clarify this King of Wands for fire signs. Okay. So, fire, you're being encouraged to embrace this King of Wands energy and step into a journey for yourself. Three of Wands says, I'm looking at the journey that lies ahead of me. And I'm doing so because I've embraced this King of Wands energy, so I've taken action. Let's find out more. Tell 
Tell us more about obstacles and challenges for fire science, please. Tell us more about obstacles and challenges for fire science. I mean, sometimes, you know, journeys can take so long, right, that it can pull a lot of our energy out of us where we can feel somewhat stuck. It's like, my God, are things ever going to move forward? You know, here we show energies moving forward and moving forward quickly. And it puts you into the energy of action, moving towards the journey that lies ahead. Now I know what lies ahead. We want to better understand this energies, these energies. So here's what comes in next for you, fire signs. You have the lover's card representing Gemini's energy and it's attached to the six of wands, which is representing the energy of victory and triumph, right? So here I am embracing this king of wands energy. I'm realizing, right, that destiny takes time. Maybe it's just about me being patient, pulling back on my energies, realizing, yeah, destiny takes time. I want this lover's connection in my life. This lover's connection brings me victory and triumph, right? So this could be a connection that's coming together for some of you. You may already be with this person. You may not be with this person yet. Let's clarify this lover's card. Please clarify the lover's card for fire signs, please. Two of Pentacles, right? So when does this connection come in? When there's balance. When I feel like I'm not in the rough waters being tossed and thrown around, I feel like I'm on solid ground. I'm creating and I'm manifesting. I have the infinity symbol right here. What am I creating? What am I manifesting? Lover's card. Soulmate connection in my life. Okay, fire signs. I think I'm done with your tarot reading for this week. I hope these energies resonate, resonated with all of you, and I hope you were able to pick up with these energies, pick up on part of your story, and that you were open to hearing and understanding these messages. If any of you are interested in uh, getting a personal tarot reading, send me an email at tree of life tarot the number nine at gmail.com. I'd love to connect with you, schedule a time, and what kind of personal tarot reading for you. Thank you so much for all the love and the support. Fire Signs, wishing you all the very best this week. Have a great week.